Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Beauty in the Budget and today I am coming at you guys with a debt update video for the last month. Last month was September, so I'm a little behind. I'm behind by five days, but I'm gonna try to catch up with you guys. As you guys know, I am moving out this month, so that's where a lot of my mental capacity has been right now. On top of, you know, working towards other goals that I have. You guys know moving can be like a beast in itself, but I'm so excited and I can't wait to just be settled and then I can really hone in on the other things that I'm trying to do as well. But if you're new here, I do these debt updates every month. So there will be a playlist above. You can always click on to see my original journey and just where I started from and where I am now. You can feel free to follow me on Instagram. Um, subscribe if you like, comment down below. And we are gonna get right into this video. So let's go on ahead and we're gonna flip back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this section and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I am back and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on September. So Fed loans is of course still the same now. Hopefully, I pray uh, because I qualify for the $20,000 forgiveness within the next couple of months, hopefully this will be 20,000, uh, but I will keep you guys posted on that. All right, then my car note, uh, my car note is really close to being below $10,000 and I've just been paying the minimum payments. So by the end of this year, this should be well under $10,000, which is awesome. I'm trying to decide if my next snowball will be my car note or my Fed loan because I'm kind of doing the avalanche right now. Um, but this probably will be the easiest debt to eliminate. So I don't know, we'll see. Next is my Citizens Bank loan. So as you guys know, this is the one that I do debt updates for every week. I've been paying it down. My goal is to pay it off by the end of the year. And it's currently at $6,191. And my minimum payment drastically went down. Like I, I checked my account and my minimum payment is now $153. And if you can see here, it was $336. And originally it was $423. So this is a good sign. This means that I'm making a lot of progress in my debt and this minimum payment is just reflecting that. But now I'm gonna go ahead and add up my numbers. So now my new debt total is 56,796. And then I'm gonna calculate my minimum payments. It's 193, oops, 153, oops. So that's $346, which is a drastic decrease from last month. I have been able to put a lot more money back into my pocket just by making more payments. So this month, I'm really proud of myself. I contributed a lot more to my debt than I planned to. I only planned to contribute 500, but I believe I contributed like 15 to $2,000, which is really impressive for someone that's about to move out. Um, I did wanna make sure that I was covered when I do move out, like all my financials are covered, but any extra money I decided to throw on my debt and I'm so glad I did that. So that way I'm not, you know, put behind on my end of the year goal of paying off this debt. But now I'm going to go ahead and get the total payments of the month. So to do that, I'm just going to subtract last month's debt total of 59,266 minus this month's total of 56,796. And I have paid a total of $2,470. And I literally had no idea that I did that. So pat, pat myself on the back on that. That is really shocking. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna get my total payments overall. So this is the amount of payments that I've made since last September, a year. And I paid off $23,650. So I'm just gonna add that to this amount. So I paid off $26,120. Awesome, we are trucking along. So with this number, I'm gonna calculate how much percentage of debt that I paid off. So we can go ahead and flip all the way back. So I'm gonna put my current amount of $56,796 and I'm gonna go ahead and divide that by one year ago. 
I was at 82,916, so that is what I'm gonna go ahead and divide it by. So we get a decimal, I'm gonna multiply it by 100, and I'm going to go ahead and subtract it by 100. So I paid off 31% of my debt. We are slowly trickling along, and I am so close to the 50, 50% would be like my milestone mark. And definitely if the student loan forgiveness does come through, I think I will definitely be well over the 50% mark. So I'm so excited. I just feel like my future is just opening up financial freedom. Without this debt, I will have a lot more choices in my life in terms of you know employment or time and just different things that I wanna do because I won't owe anyone anything. I can just live free. Um, the only thing I probably have to worry about is my housing, but that would just be like a dream life for me. And I'm gonna make this dream happen. So we are gonna get right to the coloring portion. So next I'm going to go ahead and fill in my tracker. I use this as a guide for how much I have to go until my loan is paid off. So as you can see, it is in 2% increments. Um, I usually do this on my iPad, but my iPad so stopped working. I accidentally threw it in the washing machine. Let's not talk about that. But for now, I'm just gonna use what I have and I have this as a backup just in case, you know, I do something crazy. Since I paid off 31%, let me zoom in. So since I paid off 31%, I can go ahead and shade up to 30%. So I'm gonna go on ahead and do that right now. There is that, and this is where we are right now. I am slowly going up, and 50% is about right here. So I have about this much to go until I hit, well, probably my second milestone. So 25% was a milestone, but I'm really excited. But I'm really just taking it one week at a time. Every week I'm trying to make some type of progress in terms of my current student loan. And I think once I get that off my back, I will really be gazelle intensity towards paying off the rest of my portion of debt. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow, I will be posting another debt update with my side income. So be on the lookout for that. This is another journey that I have. I will attach that playlist above where you can see how every week I am slowly chipping away at my private student loan, which is my citizen's bank loan. So yeah. I'll also be sure to keep you guys updated on my move and I think I might do like an empty apartment tour so just let me know if you're interested in that and that is basically it for right now thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye guys